This is the Xiaomi Redmi Note 12C, one of the most controversial Android phones that I know of in terms of specification. Many of my subscribers have asked me to review this phone and believe me, it has been on my top priority. However, one thing leads to another and I've not been able to review it, so now that I have it, let's get into it. Redmi 12C comes in 4 variants and all 4 variants comes with exactly the same specifications. The only difference is their storage capacity. The first variant has 64GB of storage and 3GB of memory. The second variant also has 64GB of storage but 4GB of memory. The third and the last variants both have 128GB of storage, 4GB of memory for one and 6GB for the other. As for their prices, 78,000 Naira for the 364 gig variant, 83,000 Naira for the 464 gig variant, 88,000 Naira for the 4128 gig variant, and 93,000 Naira for the 6128 gig variant. These prices are not fixed. There might be some slight differences depending on your location. As I mentioned earlier, all their specifications remain the same. They feature a 50 megapixel camera sensor which they claim produces clear night images. We will find out soon. The Xiaomi Redmi 12C has a very good processor, MediaTek Helio G85, which is only a little lesser in performance than the Helio G88 that powers the Tecmo Spark 10 Pro. It also comes with a 5000 mAh battery and all the 4 variants of the Redmi 12C support memory fusion as well. I have reviewed a lot of phones and sometimes it is difficult to convince myself that the phone I am reviewing is different from the previous one that I had reviewed, especially if they are in the same price range. The reason being that when two phones are in the same price range, it is easy to predict their specifications because there's a kind of boundary between them that makes it easy to tell the features that is common to both phones. This is not the case with the Redmi 12C. Some of the features you will find on the Redmi 12C are surprisingly those that you will only find on the more expensive phones, while other features are unexpectedly too low for the phone. For example, in the packaging box, it comes with a 10 watt charger and a USB 2.0 cable. Now, just close your eyes and imagine how long it will take a phone that is powered by a Helio G85 processor and a 50 megapixel camera to completely charge its battery with just 10 watt charger. I guess it will take well over 2 hours. And the fact that it comes with a USB 2.0 charging port and not USB Type C charging port, that thought alone can give someone a headache. Then it comes with a back fingerprint instead of a side fingerprint. The position is a bit too far up, so you will have to extend your finger to the S train to access it. This is one of the things I didn't like about the Technopop 7 Pro, Infinix Ma 7 Plus and the Itel A60. My point is that the kind of combination of features on the Redmi 12C is not what we are used to, but we can adjust considering that the good features outweigh the not good features, plus the price is super affordable. One last issue I have with the phone is the design. I watched Prince Tech review on the Redmi 12C. He compared the design with the Itel S18, which is way cheaper. He made a valid point that the Itel S18 is more beautiful in design and he's absolutely right, only that he's only been too kind. What I will normally compare the design of the Redmi 12C with is the cheapest phone from Itel so far, Itel A60. So guys, judge this matter, tell me the one you think has the best design in the comment section below. Plus, don't forget to hit the like button on this video. If you are wondering why the design is not that good, I'm guessing that Xiaomi's idea is simple. If you can't bear the shame of carrying this phone around, go get yourself one of those phones in the Note series. Starting with the camera, it has a 50 megapixel rear camera sensor and a depth sensor. If a Techno or Infinix phone is designed with a camera of 50 megapixel sensor, Know that that phone will be well over 110,000 Naira. If you ever heard of the Tecno Phantom V4, Tecno's highest phone so far, it comes with a 50 megapixel camera sensor and pictures taken with that phone are super glorious. This is the same camera found in the Redmi 12C. Unlike most phones, the camera only has few modes. Video mode, photo mode, portrait mode, night mode and time lapse mode. No wide selfie, short video, document, panorama, beauty, and pro modes. About the 50 megapixel rear camera, pictures taken with it are amazing, but not as much as what an average 50 megapixel sensor would provide. It is understandably so because the processor is not as strong as those of other devices that have a 50 megapixel camera sensor. Or another way we can explain why this camera is not giving us its maximum quality is that 
Maybe it is not actually a 50 megapixel sensor. There are lots of other devices with 16 megapixel camera that can offer the same image quality as a Redmi 12C. Could it be that Xiaomi lied about the camera sensor just to get people to buy the phone? I'm only assuming. I'm not expecting the image quality to be like crazy. After all, it's a budget phone. But knowing that it has a 50 megapixel sensor naturally will make anyone expect more. This is a picture I took with another 50 megapixel camera and this is the one I took with the Redmi 12C. What do you think? Does the Redmi 12C rear camera what being called a 50 megapixel sensor? The ninth mode is supposed to enhance images taken in the dark, making them appear clearer. It does, like every other device. I thought that it would be better than every other night mode picture because Xiaomi specifically mentioned that the camera gives clear night images with the night mode. Should I say I'm a bit disappointed? Now there is a dedicated 50 megapixel camera mode for the camera. I honestly don't understand what that means because pictures taken with this mode are just the same as pictures taken with the normal photo mode. Even when you zoom in, you don't see any difference. The front camera is 5 megapixel with a quality that is way better than most 8 megapixel sensors. You get really nice selfie picture with this camera. But what I really don't understand is why Xiaomi would pair a rear 50 megapixel sensor with a front 5 megapixel sensor. On the display, you get a 6.7 inches IPS LCD of 500 nits peak brightness, which is an average display brightness. The bezel at the top and bottom is a bit too much. That is why the screen to body ratio is about 83%. 88 to 90% is what I call excellent for budget phones. Then the display resolution is 720 by 1650 pixels. I wish you luck if you hope to find a phone of this price with a better display resolution. The overall quality of the display is excellent as it renders images so nicely. On the Redmi 12C, there are a handful of pre-installed apps and games. TikTok, Snapchat, Spotify and FM radio that does not require an earpiece to work are all pre-installed. You also get the all-popular PUGB game pre-installed, but you still have to download the game files. The other games here are lightweight games, yet very satisfying and responsive. About high-end games, there's no doubt about the ability of the Redmi 12C to handle them. After all, it has 169,026 Antutu benchmark performance score, even without the GPU rating. Mali G52 MC2 for the GPU. The fact that it comes with PUGB pre-installed also shows how confident Xiaomi is about the phone's ability to handle high-end games. The 5000 mAh battery is barely enough to satisfy game lovers on a single charge these days, but it has become the standard for most budget phones, so let's say that the battery capacity is just fair. In conclusion, it is difficult to recommend this phone to anyone based on the fact that it has some messy features like the design and the USB 2.0 port. But for me personally, the other features are too good and I can't ignore them based on few messy features. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Tell me if the Redmi 12C is worth buying or not. Check out this video for the review of Tecmo's first foldable phone and I will meet you there.